What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy Roger Jr. I want to make a video about talking about the um, training that it's not an offer. So first thing first, it is a three-week training, <clears throat> which I'm gonna let you a little backstory about myself. I'm from uh, Orlando, Florida. I was interested into trucking, and I feel like it's not with the best decision. Uh, pretty much what they offer. So like I said earlier, they offer a three weeks training. Uh, for me, since I was from Florida, my training was taking place in Atlanta, Georgia. It's due to transport me out there. Uh, it was one for the rental car, uh, but I decided I want to take a flight. Uh, so I, I pitched, I sent a pitch to the, uh, the recruiter. I said, how about you fly me out there because it's a little cheaper uh, to, uh, to fly than rent me a car. And he said he got to talk to his manager to get approval and see if he could do that. Which I already knew he could. We could already look at the price for the ticket. The ticket was $59. $59 compared to a rental car, uh, gas, you know, and then time. So, you know, the driver did like six hours from Orlando to fly. It's like literally like, I think like 45 minutes to an hour. It just made better sense. So, of course, he came back and he said, yeah, we're going to fly you out there. So they flew me out, uh, they used uh, Delta. So they flew me out there. Uh, as soon as I landed, I called. Uh, they got my Uber to uh, send me to my hotel. So they sent me, uh, I might I might send a, I might do like a video clip of the hotel room that we're staying in. But anyway, they got my Uber to the hotel room. It was a sleeping suite, uh, pretty nice. Um, on top of that, all by myself. No, no roommate, no nothing. So that it was a, it was a blessing with that. Uh, the first day, you know, the check in and you know, uh, be prepared for the next morning. So they did recommend you recommend us to be in the lobby by, I believe it was by five o'clock, five thirty, five o'clock. Uh, then they depart from from the hotel to the to the uh, to the terminal, the OC for our training. Keep in mind, you don't have to be there that early. We, the, 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 the van, they didn't, take, they didn't leave until probably like 6, 10, 6, 15. And then the hotel I was staying at, they lunch, they, not lunch, they breakfast, they only have like muffins, and I think that was it, muffins, orange juice, apple juice, and a coffee. That's your breakfast. So, I recommend you to, when you get down there, go down to the Walmart. The Walmart's like probably like a mile away. Probably less than that. Stack up some food, or they got some restaurants around the area, like McDonald's, of course, that's worldwide, Wendy's. Um, that's what I would do. I would, I'll go to Walmart to stack up. So anyway, <clears throat> that morning they took us to the OC. Uh, you know, of course, they check your temperature. Then you just pretty much waiting. They technically they don't start until seven o'clock in the morning, and from the OC, from the hotel to the uh, OC is like a twenty minute drive. So pretty much we just waiting, just waiting. Um, then after you know waiting, oh, excuse me, after waiting, we end up uh, listening to the HR telling us you know like. You know, legal stuff, you know, admin stuff, what we got to fill out, etc. Uh, you have to do a uh, a physical. If you had your physical card, then you're fine. You don't have to do a physical. You do have to do a drug test. And you do a piss test and a hair photo test. The hair photo coat, if you don't have no hair on your face or your hair, or you don't have a lot of it, what they took from me, they, came, they took it from underneath my armpits. After that, uh, we did some more admin stuff, uh, more test uh, test stuff as well. It's a lot of it's a lot of paperwork you got to do, and then you also got to do a sleep aid test, um, and then your, your pretty much your your your, uh, your strength as well to test out your strength and your sleep aid. Um, and like a, more paperwork, you know, you did fill out your your direct deposit. They'll go over your benefits. Um, it was a couple other things, but I don't remember. It was like 
it, this been like almost a month ago. So, uh, <clears> that <throat> they also do a what else did they did? I think that was pretty much it. A lot of they weren't just a lot of paperwork. Uh, you listen to people, your tra your trainees talk. Um, you listen to the uh, instructor that's over it. He got any question that you may may have, he got to answer it. Pretty cool guy. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool guy. I He was the one I asked about if I could do vlogs. And he said, yo, you're good with that as long as you don't, you know, have your video rolling while you're driving. Don't show their equipment. And then you're, you're good and watch what I say. And I'm pretty much a straightforward guy. I'm not gonna talk bad about anybody because I feel like they do it to themselves anyway. That day we ate lunch. Uh, every day they're gonna feed you lunch, and the lunch was decent to me. Like some people didn't like it, some people love it. It was decent to me. They have a uh, uh, they have a meal of a day, or they have three different type of chicken. They got the herb chicken, fried chicken, or chicken with sauce, which is sides as well. If you don't like meat, no problems. They also serve salad as well. And uh, every day they will have those type of three meats in a salad every day. But every day they will have a meal of a day. So the meal of a day we had one day was like chicken burrito, uh, fish tacos, fish. Uh, I think it was meatloaf, beef stew, it's different stuff for a meal, uh, meal of the day. So that was pretty cool. I think on day two, uh, you go out with your trainee and you're not driving. You're not driving. They're just showing you um, Snyder way. Cause you dare to know you got to drive, you got your CDL so you know how to drive. But they want to show you how Snyder wants you to drive. So they show you the pre-trip. You sit in the back or the passenger seat. You watch the trainee drive. He drive through the city. There's a parking lot that you, uh, he show you how to do the 90 degree back in, 45 degree back in, uh, the alley dot back in. There's a lot of, uh, there's three different type of back ends, maneuvering through different cones and man maneuvering through uh, two sets of trailers. Day, so you just pretty much watch them do that. Day three, now he, they take the students and now it's your turn to do the pre-trip, the driving and the back end. And you pretty much do that every day. So the first week, that's all that you're doing. You're just doing those every day. So you're gonna have enough time to drive and you're gonna have a plenty of time, plenty of times to back up. So you don't got to worry about if you can't back up, they're gonna teach you how to back up. I still, to this day, have difficulties backing up, but I take the knowledge that they taught me in school to like, okay, it makes it a lot more easier for me to, you know, back up instead of like wasting like 30, 30 to an hour trying to back up. If you apply the principles, what they teach you, you got to learn, you got to, I'm not a strong backer, but you got to learn how to back up. Uh, week two, uh, there's a simulator that they take you, they take you through. Uh, they show you different scenarios like if your stair tire blows out, what you should do, if you in uh, weather conditions, what you could do, and stuff like that. That was pretty cool. I actually like that. It's not a video game. Don't think it's a video game. I didn't. Have, I don't have a video of that, uh, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about, like a driver simulator. Uh, they also how, they also show you how to uh, unlatch the back of the trailer properly, how to properly climb inside the trailer. So that was pretty cool as well. Oh, uh, now I know one of the one of the, the subscribers asked me about like what the, how the test goes. Um, you're not gonna fail the driving test. You're not gonna fail. They gotta. You, there's enough training for you to pass this test. If you're not as strong, they will. They will keep you for like another week. It's all. It all depends on the uh, the manager or the OC, but. 10 out of 10, they gotta they gotta make sure you pass the driving test. They gotta make sure you pass the backing test. So you ain't gotta worry about that as well. Now, when it comes to like the written test, not the written test, but like the test that they give you. Um I forgot the test, like the 
Compliment test. A lot of, lot of classroom assignment tests is what I... Make sure you guys study because I know there were a couple of people that fell and I believe if you fell more than two times, three times or whatever, that's it. So learn it as much as you can. As soon as you step in that building, as soon as you step in the building, they're studying you. They're watching how you uh, talk to people. They're watching how you pay attention, how you're driving. Uh, make sure you're not sleeping, backing up, etc. So stay, stay alert. Definitely stay alert. They show you how to use your uh, your tablet, your ELD. They show you how to do that as well. They try. They show you how to uh, trip plan. It's a lot. It's pretty much going through class again, uh, but it's pretty much showing you snide away. Let you guys know you cannot drive and talk on the phone. You cannot like drive and record. I think I mentioned that earlier. You cannot do that as well. You just want to, you, they want you just to focus. Make sure you have your seatbelt on while you're driving as well for safety procedures, for, for safety reasons. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Now for the pay, how you been compensated? First week, I got paid $400 gross. Second week, I got paid $580. And then the third week, in the third week, that's when you go out with your trainee, which I went out with my uh, trainee in Wisconsin. Best trainer ever. Best trainer ever. Every night I was with him, it was me and another classmate. When we drive and we shut down for the night, we didn't sleep in the back of the bunk. He checked us in into a hotel. Now, everybody don't have the, don't have, they don't have the luxury of doing that. We just got lucky. Every night we checked into the hotel, so I, I thank him for that. You know, uh, we went to Chicago, Illinois, Iowa. Um, uh, was where else did we go? A lot of different places. It, it, it was it was pretty cool, and I was on a Dollar General account. Now I'm not on the Dollar General account now, but that's what my trainee was doing. So keep in mind if they put you in the trainee that has a Dollar General account, you do not have to, you do not have to unload the truck. But keep in mind though, I ain't gonna lie to you. Dollar General, pay that bread. If you wanna make, if you're a rookie, you wanna make some money, Dollar General is where it's at. Now they did say that you need three months of experience, but I just got a phone call and I got plugged in. So after after this, um, the middle of February, I'm going up to the Wisconsin. I'm going to do the Dollar General account team. So I got I got lucky. I ain't gonna lie to you. So now with that account, you make between eighteen to three thousand dollars gross a week, and that's what I want y'all to do. A lot of people out here making eight, seven hundred, you know, as a rookie. Mm -mm. I ain't got time to waste. I gotta get to this money. So I was fortunate enough to, you know, be able to get plugged in. I and I, I also believe is how you treat people. You know, I was able to show them that I was determined. I didn't sit in the truck and watch my trainee unload the truck. I actually went out and helped him. And so he put out a good win when it was time for him to, you know, like, yo. Keep putting a good word for me because I want to join this account. Put in a good word for me and boom, I'm going to join their account. But that's another, that's another video. That's that's another video. But yeah, if you have any questions, just let just holler at me. Let me know. I answer the best that I can. Like I said, with the driving, you're not going to fail the driving part. You're not going to fail the backing up part. They're going to they gonna teach you. They're going to teach you as much as possible. Uh, pay attention to do you do those work assignment tests. Pay attention to that. I think, like I said, I'm not seeing, when I was there, I'm not seeing five people leave because two couldn't speak English well. And one, something, something with CDL, I believe, or something with CDL happened or a test. I'm not really sure. I think he felt the test, the, uh, the written test, not the driving test, the written test. And then two, 
Say no to drugs. <laughs> if you know you smoked weed last month or last week, <laughs> don't waste your time. Don't waste their time. If you know you're not clean, don't come over here. Get clean, then come over here and make this money. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make this money. So, this is your boy Roger Jr. Checking out.